Hi everyone, Op Williams here. I'd like to use this time to finally tell the story about a dream that I had, entitled, Jaeger, Dagger. If you're wondering what that means, it's a phrase that was repeated multiple times throughout this dream. And even though it made no sense, I knew exactly what it meant while I was inside the dream. Let's begin. In this dream, I was walking around my old neighborhood where I lived until Hurricane Katrina. The dream had already been going on for a while, but the first thing I could remember is at the very moment that I realized I was in a dream, which is a frequent occurrence for me. I noticed that the houses on my street looked a little bit different from how I remember them in real life, so I decided to go around looking at every house to see if I could spot all the differences. I walked a couple blocks while in the middle of the street, and then I noticed that the houses were sort of bending or leaning to the right a little bit, and they were all monotone and shades of yellow and blue when I looked at them up close. So then I thought, I should go look at my own house to see if that's any different. Now here's where things get interesting. As I was walking closer to my house, I noticed there was a guy walking in front of me who wasn't there before. Also to my right, there's an above ground graveyard. There's a guy standing on one of those graves trying to get me and this other guy's attention from over the fence. He's warning us of danger. Apparently, there was a group of three guys with a revolver going around the neighborhood shooting people after shouting, Jaeger Dager! The guy in the graveyard was warning us that these dudes were right behind us. I then remembered that earlier in the dream, before I became aware that this was a dream, and I started looking at houses, I was one street over and I saw these guys doing this from a distance. In fact, what I remember specifically is them literally shooting holes through a house while saying, Jaeger Dager which is what caused me to try and get away from there in the first place. During these few moments while the guy in the graveyard was talking to me, I had forgotten about this being a dream. All I could think about is that there are some white guys in a black neighborhood running around with a gun saying Jaeger Dager, which is I guess their version of Russian roulette that they just made up where you have to say Jaeger or Dager in response to Jaeger Dager like this is a question, and if you respond incorrectly, you just get shot. So anyway, the guy who was in front of me, who I'm just gonna call Bob now, walks over to the Jaeger Dager guys and tries to reason with them. After a short while, the guy with the gun leans back with the gun in his hand and goes, Jaeger Dager! Bob then reluctantly responds with, uh, Dager? The next thing I hear is, Woo! Bob got shot in the head mere yards away from me, and I knew they were coming for me next. So I run to the front yard of my house. I pushed on the gate so hard that it swung open without the need to pull up the latch. I sprint into my backyard because I figure I can hop a few fences and end up on another street where these guys can't find me. Luckily, there was a convenient hole in the fence that I was able to get through. I'm now in the neighbor's backyard. In real life, as I remember it, there's nothing in this person's backyard, but in this dream, there's a roofed off open area with stacks of hay, as well as bags of soil and other farming tools like that. I went all the way to the end of this structure, and I crouched next to some bags. I saw two guys pass by, but this time a different man had the gun. Seeing that, I think that I'm in the clear and I can just go back the way I came to get away. As I try to get back in the hole on the fence, I'm standing face to face with the guy who's been saying Jaeger Dager and shooting people this whole time, but he noticeably doesn't have his gun. So now we're having a bit of a struggle. As I'm trying to get away, he's holding on to my right arm and pulling me back into his direction. He is very strong. I'm thinking to myself that all I have to do is get to my front door, get inside, and lock the door. I manage to push him away a few times, but every time I begin to run, he grabs me by my right arm again. On the last time this happened, I remember the feeling of being exhausted. I am not able to struggle with him anymore. With my right arm in hand, he gets this crazy look in his eye and he says, So what's it gonna be, man? Jaeger or Dager? Personally, I like Dager. So then I said, Okay, fine, Dager. And he's like, Wow! You listened to me do this three other times. Didn't it occur to you that everyone else also said Dager? This is not good. I figure his friends with the gun are going to be back at any moment, so I somehow managed to gather all my strength and knock him on his ass. I don't remember if I punched him in the face or I kicked him in the chest. All I know is he did not get back up. So I managed to hop back through the fence, and there's two new guys from this Jaeger Dager group standing there that I haven't seen before. I think to myself, all I have to do is get inside and lock the door. These guys must have realized that at the same time. 
So all of us start rushing from the backyard to the front yard while we're pushing each other the whole time. Guy number one begins to run around the porch and go up the stairs. Guy number two jumps off of the ground and directly onto the porch. So I do the same thing. I jump off the ground and go onto the porch. I manage to grab guy number one by his hair and use his momentum to throw him off of the porch. Meanwhile, guy number two has the door open and is trying to lock it and close it back so I won't be able to get in. As it was closing, I managed to stop the door with my hands. I then grab him by the hair like the last guy and I threw him off the porch. As I'm trying to get back inside, guy number one comes back. So I grab him by the hair again and I throw him off the porch. This time, I finally get the door closed, but there's a problem. The door won't shut. It can easily be pushed open. Doors always fail to completely close or lock in my dreams for some reason. So now I'm thinking, well, the door won't close, so I have to stand my ground and fight. I specifically remember getting a rush of adrenaline, getting ready to wreak havoc on some Jaeger Dager candy ass. I confidently step onto my porch with a bloodlust and rage in my heart. These two guys lying on the ground take one look at me, see how angry I am, and retreat to my backyard. So now I'm just pissed off and I start yelling and cursing at them. And I remember exactly what I said. I said, uh, Y'all motherfuckers got me five on one and I just beat all your asses, so don't fuck with me! I walked to the end of the porch to take a peek around from where I just came from. But before I could get there, I see my art teacher from college walking out of my backyard with a stack of boxes full of art supplies that belong to me. She's humming a tune, she has headphones on, and she's wearing yoga pants. And I just stand there going, what the fuck? And then the dream just ends. I wake up and I write it all in my phone before I forget all the details. Yeah.